Assalamu alaikum, my name is Swatma Qureshi and in this video I'm going to tell you about the VLAN trunking protocol and how to configure and test the VLAN trunking protocol over three switches. So the VLAN trunking protocol is very useful for large networks, uh, the networks that have a lot of switches. So what it does is that it helps to achieve synchronization and it also maintains consistency throughout the whole network. It has three modes, the server, client, and transparent mode. And, and uh, I'm, going to talk, I'm going to be talking about the server and client modes only. So in this kind of network, one switch acts as a server and all the other switches are clients. Only the server can add, create, and delete VLANs. Uh, what happens is that we don't, we don't have to configure every switch again and again. The, with the help of VLAN tracking protocol, we can uh, configure the only, we have to configure only the server and the clients will synchronize themselves with the latest information, the latest configuration that uh, we did in the server. So let's get started. We will have three switches. And let's use six PCs. OK, so now let's connect them. OK, so all the devices are connected. And what I've done here is that I have assigned IP addresses to all the uh, PCs. And I have set the default gateways. So this will be our server switch and these two will be our client switches. Just to remind you that how we assign the IP addresses, let's take a look at the PC3. Uh, click on the PC, go to desktop, then IP configuration, then set the IP. Uh, click here to get the default subnet mask and then set the default gateway here. OK, so um, let's say that this is. OK, so this is the IT part department. And this is the CS department. And this one is the. BBA department. OK. Now let's get uh, started on configuring the server. So we go into the command line interface. Then enable. Configure terminal. Config T for short. And then uh, what we do is that let's check the VTP status. So we do do show VTP status or just uh, ST for short. And here we can see that the version number is two and the revision number is zero, which means that there have been no changes because for every change, the revision number changes. So if um, after making changes in this uh, switch uh, configuration, this uh, version number will be, revision number, sorry, will be one. Okay, uh, as you can see here that the domain name has not been set. So let's do that. We will set the domain name by using the command VTP domain. And now let's set the name. Let's say, for example, uh, let's say it's Fatma. And then we will set the password, VTP password. Let's say it's DCM lab. This will be the same for all the switches on the network, the password and the domain name. OK, um, let's do the next command, VTP version 2 okay now let now let's check again 
the VTP status to show VTPSD. Okay, there you can see our changes, and because we made some changes, the revision number is one. And as you can see, the domain name is Spatma, and the VTP uh, V2 mode has been enabled. Okay, so the, ne the next thing we do is that we create the VLANs. So let's get started on that. Just write VLAN 20 and then um, uh, its name. So the name is IT, then exit, then VLAN 30. Its uh, name is CS. Exit and VLAN 40. Name is, oops, sorry, there has been a mistake. Be sure to type correctly, otherwise, you will get an error. VLAN 40. And the name is VBA. Okay, now that is done. So the next step is we will um, set the interface range. So fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. And then um, we, will, we will write switch port mode trunk. So this will convert the access link to a trunk link that we can copy the configuration from the server to the uh, client. Okay, so we need to um, exit. And wait, there is an, another um, link. So this is one slash one. We need to configure that one too. So for that, we will write the interface range fast internet one slash one and then again the switch port mode oh sorry switch port mode trunk okay now the only thing left to do here is that we copy the command this like a, a running a configuration to the flash memory so that it will remain safe even if the switch is uh, route is turned off or you know um, restarted so let's do that for that we have to type exit again and wr is the command and we will also write copy run sysd so okay this is done the server configuration is done now let's move on to the clients the client one we go to cli enable and config t then vtp mode to client so vtp mode client is the command and uh, then we will write the domain name which is vtp domain fatima and then the vtp password to DCN lab and the next thing we will do is that we will check if it's been synchronized or not so do show VLAN and here we can see the information the three VLANs ITCS and CS and BBA so 
the next thing we do is we save this configuration for that we do wr and copy run sd so we will do the same for the other switch sorry let me just make it client one and Client two. Okay, so for client two, go to CLI and then enable config D, then um, VTP mode client, then VTP domain Fatma. And VTP password to DCN lab. Then we will do do show VLAN just to check. Yep, it's all good. And then let's save it. So for that exit, then wr and then copy run start. Okay, so now it's time to check our network. So basically the computers within a department, for example, IT department will be able to communicate with each other, but not outside of the department. The same is the case for CS and BBA. So let's see. Yes, it was successful. This should be successful as well. And the same for the BBA computers. Okay, now let's check. They should not be able to communicate across a network. Yes, see, it will fail. So this shows that our VLAN uh, trunking protocol is working as required. And so I hope that you were able to understand how to configure the VLAN trunking protocol and to test if it's working or not. Um, thank you and have a nice day.